Are you receiving? November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra. This is Golf Bravo 100 Juliet. Are you receiving? Over. NA1SS, November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra. This is Golf Bravo 100, Juliet. Are you receiving? Over. November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra. NA1SS, this is Golf Bravo 100, Juliet. Are you receiving? Over. Uh, Golf Bravo 100, Juliet. I think I've got you. This is NA1SS. Go ahead. Very good evening, Clay, from all the scouts at the 21st World Scouts Jamboree in Chelmsford, Essex. Are you ready for the first question? Over. I'm ready. Go ahead. Over. I am Romy from Wales asking Mary's question. How do you stop yourself from bumping into objects when you're in sleep? Over. Uh, we sleep in a sleeping bag, Mary, and we strap ourselves down so that we don't move around and float into things. Over. I am Matthew from Australia asking James's question. What is the best thing you have seen from space? Over. I think, Matthew, you tell James the best thing I've seen from space is my hometown of Ashland, Nebraska. Hi, I'm Eric from the Netherlands asking Brian's question. Can you see the sunrise from outer space? Over. We can see the sunrise uh, 16 times a day. We go around the uh, Earth every 90 minutes and we see a sunrise and a sunset every 90. So, yes, we can. Over. I'm Reike from Denmark asking James a question. With no fresh meat and vegetables available, what is your typical daily menu? Over. Uh, I think the question is about food, and uh, our typical menu is basically meat, potatoes, and vegetables a uh, couple times a day with uh, breakfast foods in the morning. Over. I am John James from Malaysia asking Ian's question. How long will it take for you to be back to normal after your duty on the space station? Over. It'll probably take me uh, about uh, one month to physically recuperate, but uh, only a couple of days to mentally recuperate. Over. I'm Sarah from Switzerland asking Margaret's question. Can you see weather features such as hurricanes and lightning storms from space stations? Over. Absolutely. I've seen one Pacific hurricane, but it didn't really develop. And then I've watched lightning storms at night. It's beautiful to see. Over. I am Shohei from Japan asking John Christian, how do you spend your spare time on the space station, over? I haven't gotten a lot of spare time, but when I do, I can play an electronic keyboard, I like to uh, uh, do email and uh, talk to my friends via a uh, telephone we have on board, over. I am Jane from France asking Sylvia's question, do you have your own room on the space station, over? Yes, I do have my own room. It's called a temporary sleep station. It's about the size of a phone booth. Over. I'm Maria from Finland asking Anna's question. Can you receive TV subs on, on the space station? Over. Yeah, we watch TV programs on the space station. I don't watch any soap operas, but I watch some of my favorite TV shows, and those are sent up uh, via computer link. Over. I'm Nicholas from USA asking David's question. What made you want to be an astronaut? Over. I was eight years old and I saw the Apollo 8 astronauts go around the backside of the moon and come out some 15 minutes later, and I was hooked and wanted to be an astronaut. Over. I'm from from Wales asking Nigel's question. How long do astronauts spend on the space station? Over. Uh, astronauts typically spend two to six months on the station. Uh, it kind of depends on what launch vehicle they came up on and when the next one is going to launch to bring them home. Over. I am Matthew from Australia asking Zoe's question. What is the most memorable occasion, site or activity whilst on the space station? Over. I think it has to be my first spacewalk that I did a couple weeks ago. It was beautiful and it was an awesome experience. We were outside for 7 hours and 41 minutes. Over. I'm Eric from the Netherlands asking Frank's question. Are you nervous about your return journey to Earth? Over. I don't think I'm nervous about coming home. It's too far away to think about. Uh, maybe if you could ask me that question sometime in October, I might have a different answer. Over. I'm Megan from Denmark asking Sean's question. How often are you able to speak to your family from the space station? Over. I get a chance to talk to my wife and, uh, about every day and then my children every other day or so. And we can have a video conference 
uh, once a week. So it's really good. I get to talk to them a lot. Over. I am John Jane from Malaysia asking Richard's question. On a normal day, how long do you work? Over. We probably work 14 to 16 hours in a normal day, and that includes exercise for two hours and our meals. If you really talk about exactly working, it's probably closer to 12. Over. I'm Stephen from Switzerland asking Josh's question. What do you miss the most? Over. That's an easy one. I miss my family, my wife, and my two children, my little girl, my little boy. Over. I am Shohei from Japan asking William and Christian. How easy is it to get on with each other in a confined space? Over. Actually, it's pretty easy because this uh, space station has the same volume as a three-bedroom house, so we have a lot of room to move around. Over. I'm Jane from France asking Daniel's question. What happens to tears when you cry in zero gravity? Over. They kind of the tears kind of bubble up in your eyeballs and they don't fall down your cheeks like they do at home. But it sure, if you wear contact lenses like I do, it sure makes your eyes feel good. Over. I'm Maria from Finland asking Emma's question. Do you see much space debris from other space activity? Over. Uh, we see a little bit, but not too much. Uh, the folks on the ground chart anything that's bigger than a baseball, so they let us know when it's coming by the station. Over. I'm Nicholas from USA asking Sam's question. Have you ever been a member of the scout or guide movement? If so, has it helped you during your time in space? Over. Absolutely. I was a first class uh, Boy Scout in the Ashland Troop 130 back when I was a kid, and uh, base Boy Scouts helped me learn a lot about dealing with myself and being able to take care of myself in a harsh environment like the woods or like the space station. Over. NA1SS, this is Gold Bravo 100 Juliet. Clay, thank you very much for that. I'm sure the audience here would like to give you a huge round of applause. I'd really like to thank you for being able to answer the question so quickly. They have really trained well for this. And they want to say this is GB100, Juliet. Thank you so much, and my best to the 21st World Scout Jamboree in Chelmsford, England. And uh, this is NA1SS signing out. Thank you very much. Thank you, Clay. Once again, you can hear the applause from you.